guys how's everyone today well it seems like we have had some uh, major action going on not just here in the United States but a hundred German cities protesting the US Federal Reserve System how about that um, I think that that is awesome that is excellent that the protests and the German people have awakened to this type of thing to the evil of the Federal Reserve they understand it um, it's sad that more United States citizens um, don't understand it how important it is to learn about the Federal Reserve what it is where it came from that it's not part of the federal government I mean it's very very important to know this stuff um, very important but it's a, it's a great thing going on right now um, over in Germany I say we need to pick up the ball here this needs to turn into a worldwide demonstration against the Federal Reserve how sick we are to death of it right now there's a revolution going on around the world we got lots of stuff happening um, but yeah and you're not going to get this story from the mainstream media matter of fact um, this is a picture here I'm not sure if this is the guys um, one of the organizers of this thing they've had some uh, threats on them one of them's car was um, firebombed the other ones have had some little things happen that uh, was unexpected and strange so there's definitely been kickback because of these um, you know these protests and hooray for Germany you know way to go Germany Federal Reserve needs to be stopped these guys are going to get nothing but a headache from all this stuff and you know what they deserve a friggin double migraine for all I'm concerned because they've caused hell on earth for a lot of people they've made a lot of people rich and a lot of people have stayed poor and uh, you know a big thumbs up to people like this that will go out and put themselves out there in front of men like this to be beat down to be pepper sprayed arrested um, you know like we are change one of the few few very few um, real reporters that I know of that goes out there and gets the story now this is supposed to be a picture of the car that was firebombed of the main organizers um, at least that's the information that I get but I also uh, I, I'm not sure but there's definitely uh, this is also supposed to be a picture of one of the organizers car on fire as well you can see he's got some uh, you know not propaganda what do they call it um, public no oh, shoot can't even think right now um anyways <clears throat> major stuff going on right now public relations yeah that's what public relations he's got some public relations here going on in front of his house but uh not a lot of places covering this story it is a huge story as far as I'm concerned I'll put all the uh, links to these stories below 
um, you know, this guy is one of the guys who has uh, listened to Ron Paul, done studies, and learned how the Federal Reserve is affecting even his country in Germany. So they're ticked off. They're they're protesting it. Look at this. Um, this page has been archived and commenting is disabled. I mean, unbelievable, unbelievable. But way to go, Tyler. You know for uh, trying not to let him get you down. But yeah, this is what's going on. Anybody who says anything against it is a Nazi. Um, uh, who else? Uh, homegrown terrorists, Ron Paul supporters, homegrown terrorists, everything else. Um. Massive and the Fed organizer in Germany gets car firebombed. See, and this is news from a couple months ago by We Are Change. Way to go, Luke. He has been so many places and been on the front line, been arrested so many times. He's been pepper sprayed and he's took a couple of... Um, couple of blows himself. The, the Federal Reserve was created a hundred years ago. This is how it happened. Here's the story you can go to and check that out. To value the dollar. That's their goal. Pumping more and more cash out. They just print it. Print it. Print it. Federal Reserve banks all over the United States all over the United States and you know they're all protected very well protected Alex Jones has of course we know that he's done protests at the one in Texas there and way to go Alex you know good job more of us need to stand up and do more to try to get this private corporation group of bankers stopped get him arrested put in jail whatever happens needs to happen to them let's end the Fed the last president that tried to end the Fed President Carter or I'm sorry not President Carter my goodness President Kennedy and look what happened to him you know look what happened to President Kennedy he also tried to stand up against the Illuminati. There's people like this out there that stand alone against enormous odds. And I'm sure terrifying situation. This is not what is intended. Okay? This is not what was intended. These should be citizens right here. Unmasked, armed citizens of the world. Not um, policemen in daggum military garb basically looking like terrorists this should be the people in front of this this is what's intended if we gotta stand up and go forth on our own somebody's gonna notice and somebody's gonna be there and like this guy here you know good job man he's got a t-shirt on that's excellent these guys need to be arrested 
arrest the bankers, especially the ones that have uh, lined their pockets, given themselves bonuses. I mean, stop bank robbery and the Fed. Wake up and smell the corruption. Absolutely. And the Fed. And the Fed. Unconstitutional, privately owned banking cartel. It's exactly what it is. Alex Jones has been a front runner on trying to get the word out and has been brave and getting it out there, getting the word out there and organizing. You know, I think everyone should try to read this book. Try to get a chance to, to read that book, The Creature from Jekyll Island. Ron Paul has been a, a, a super, superman for the move to end the Fed and to try to bring some of the constitutional um, things of our country back into play and look what's happened to him we need to be more like these people we need to ask these kind of questions here we need to get out there do what we can make a video give it a thumbs up you know look what happened to this guy Adam Kokesh has anyone seen him since then? You know? He's another one that's been out there and uh, took a lick for the prosperity and, and for freedom. Now, I don't always agree with Alex Jones or Adam Kokesh or, or all of these guys, but hey, they do something about what they feel is right. hundred years of slavery is enough. And kudos to Luke from We Are Change for being there, bringing us this stuff. Kudos to this guy, you know, who's gone and organized these things. Now his car has been firebombed, you know. That's what's going to have to happen. President Kennedy assassinated for trying to stop the corruption and the greed. Trying to bring out these secret societies. You know? Kudos to the guy for wearing a t-shirt that says, What Recovery? Excellent. Excellent. Two words it says more than anything, anything anybody could even say. And this guy's going to see it. He's going to be uh, uncomfortable and offset by it. And of course, kudos to Alex Jones, Adam Kokesh, Ron Paul, the Lone Ranger, this brave guy here. This super brave guy here, I mean, wow. We need to try to be like more like them and make a difference. And I'm going to try to be more like that myself, try to make a difference. We need to bring this and the Fed thing here to the U.S. We need to get it global right now while it's got momentum still. Because a hundred years of slavery is long enough. Like I've always said, they want this to be the end resolution for most of us. Let's do what we can. Prepare while we can. Don't run faster than you can though. God bless. Good luck to us all. Never give up your guns. Our Second Amendment is so important. It protects the first and the last. And it protects us and our families. 
our firearms protect us. We won't become victims. Buy all the ammunition and food and things. Prep as much as you can right now. We still have time. There's been some things that have offset the whole thing, the whole plan. So, there's still time, guys. But, uh, they're, they're trying to overcome this stuff. God bless. Good luck to us all. I love y'all. And, uh, take care. This is Chatty Dad 1, over and out.